In the words of Leslie Jordan, well, shit, how are y'all doing? Today, I'm bringing y'all another YouTube tutorial, and this time we're gonna talk about how to get more views on YouTube, because views lead to subscribers. Views lead to money. <laughs> views lead to watch time, which leads to money. So the more views you can get, the better you'll do on the platform. So that is what we're gonna dive into today. to my channel if you are new here. My name is Jessica Stansberry and I am so pumped that you are here. I help creators create in a way that allows them to grow a business that they love to support the life that they love. So if that sounds like something that you are here for, make sure you hit subscribe below. The world is in a crazy spot right now and a lot of creators, including myself, took last week off from pushing out content. And I'm so glad that that happened and allowed space for larger issues that needed to be talked about. But I'm also really glad to be back with y'all today. Views are a massive goal of YouTube creators. And if you haven't decided yet that you want to get a lot of views on your channel, this let this be a message to you that you want more views. Views are basically counted when somebody watches any bit of your video. So if someone clicks on your video, if you watch your video, it is counted as a view. Now there are a lot of reasons that getting more views is important. And so I feel like before we really talk about how to get more views, I need to explain why that is an important metric. One, it is one of the only numbers that YouTube shows to show how popular a video is to the public. So if you search for something on YouTube, if you go look for a video, or if you just go to someone's channel, you're gonna see when the video was published and how many views it has. And you can use that to compare it to other videos of the same topic, compare it to other videos on that creator's channel, and see what's performing really well. So if you go to somebody's channel and you're like, oh my gosh, this video of theirs has 10,000 views and it looks like they normally get 1,000 views in the first week of publish, I might wanna watch that video. And so that's what people are doing to your content as well. So the more you can drive that view number up, the more that the viewers are gonna think your content is relevant and something that they need to watch. Now that's not probably the most important reason that you want more views, but it was just the one I thought of off the top of my head. Now some really important reasons you want more views on YouTube is that the more views you have, the more watch time you have. And watch time is a very important metric. Watch time is what YouTube uses to determine when you get monetized. So if you are trying to get monetized, if you're not quite there yet, increasing your views will automatically increase your watch time. Views are also directly correlated to the income you make on YouTube. So if you have monetization already, if you are getting more views, you are going to make more money. That's all there is to it. Plus something that probably a lot of people don't talk about is if you put out content and nobody watches it, it's really disheartening, particularly if you've spent a lot of time creating that content or if you, you know, planned it out really well or whatever, it can be really disheartening to look at your videos and be like, oh my gosh, they didn't get very many views, right? If you're going after searchable content or you're trying to land in suggested videos for other people's videos, there is definitely some key term strategies you need to implement to do that. But the more views you get, the more that people watching your video tells YouTube that it's a good video, the higher it will rank and the more it will be suggested. So driving those views up is massive and is a strategy that everybody needs to be implementing. By the way, did y'all see my shirt? Hey girl, hi! So how do you actually get more views? How do you actually put strategies in place to make sure that your videos, your channel, your content is getting more views? One of the most important ways to get more views and most impactful ways to get more views, particularly if you're a small creator and you don't have a lot of numbers behind your name yet, 
is to make sure that you are ranking well in search. And in order to do that, you need to be going after key terms you can actually rank for. Now I've actually done tons of videos about this, but most specifically recently I talked about kind of the keyword strategy behind ranking on YouTube. So I'll link that above so you can watch that video and I'll link it below if you wanna wait until we're done here and go watch that next. But essentially, if you want to be found on YouTube, if you want to, you know, make an impact and, and make a splash and get more views, you're gonna have to pay attention to search traffic. There are a lot of YouTube teachers who will tell you, you know, search traffic isn't important or whatever. And I don't think it should be the number one thing you focus on. I don't think it should be the only strategy, but especially as a small creator, it's gonna be a really great way to go ahead and start that upward trajectory of growth for your channel. And not everybody can rank for the same key terms. And so that's really important. If you are trying to get more views, going after these massive key terms that you'll never rank for as a small creator is just going to do the exact opposite. But if you go after key terms that you can actually rank for based on your current audience size and your current authority in the platform, then you can start to gain views. And as you start to gain views, again, remember YouTube is going to be like, hmm, this is a relevant video. It's getting a lot of views. Let's show it to more people. So it will be kind of like a snowball effect. You know, this really is my favorite angle in my office. I try and move it around to make it interesting, but we always, we always come back here. Okay, another thing that you can do to drive up views on your channel, and this is kind of a strategy that is contradictory to the search strategy, but I think you should be doing a combination of both, and that is listen to your audience and put out content that your audience wants to watch. A mistake that I have made throughout my YouTube career is not doing enough community building content, not doing enough content that makes my current subscribers want to come back over and over and over again. And instead really focusing on that search, which helped my views. It drove everything up where I wanted it to, but it definitely wasn't the only thing I could have been doing. If you will focus on what your audience actually wants, the subscribers you already have, then they will come back time and time and time again to watch your videos. So if they know you're releasing videos on Tuesday and Friday or Monday and Wednesday or whatever your schedule is, right? They know, oh my gosh, well, I really need to go watch her content because it's always so good. So listen to your audience because that's gonna drive views up all on its own because they are going to want to come and watch your videos each time they are released. Y'all, I need to do a whole video on this next thing, but pay attention to your analytics. Here's what I mean by this. I have talked about this before, but essentially if you see a video that is starting to go above the trend of where your normal videos go, so like let's say on YouTube in the analytics, it shows like, oh, this is your normal trajectory. And if you notice that a video is starting to take off past that normal trajectory, and you will notice it, um, you will, if you'll pay attention to your analytics, you will notice when one video starts to kind of take off and separate itself from the pack. If you will be paying attention to your analytics, then you can easily go right back in with another video that those same people would enjoy. Take this video for instance. Y'all have really enjoyed my video about how to get your first 1,000 subscribers fast. It has done way better than almost every video on my channel in the last two or three months within its first week of being published. Now, knowing that, ideally, I would have come right back in the next week and, you know, scooped in on that growth and on that momentum, if you will. I would have ridden that momentum a little bit and released another video that was very, very, very similar to that one so that the same people who like that one would like this one and YouTube would kind of show them to the same people. Now, because of the content blackout week last week, I didn't actually do that, but it gave me time to sit down and think, okay, what video 
if people are wanting to get their first 1,000 subscribers really fast, and one of the ways to drive up subscribers is to drive up your views so that you're favored by YouTube, so that your videos do better in search, so that whatever, then let's talk about how to get more views on YouTube. So while I would have normally done this particular video the week after that one, once I started seeing it kind of go, um, to, you know, take a turn for the better, I'm still doing that strategy, it's just a couple weeks later and that is okay. So if you'll pay attention to your analytics and pay attention to when videos really hit their stride and you will release similar videos for that same audience within the span of you know a week or two weeks after that starts happening, then the new video that you've released is also going to do better than normal because the same people wanna watch it. And YouTube is like, oh, well these people really liked her video last time about this thing, those same people wanna know this and they seem to really like her, so let's her show her video too. So you can ride the wave of success from another video and that will cause you to, one, get more views just on your new videos because you are intentionally kind of building on the momentum of those other videos, but two, if you're putting out content consistently and telling YouTube what you need to be found for, it's just gonna help grow that other video that was starting to take off anyway. So pay attention to your analytics. There's no reason to be scared of them. We really need to dive in and see how our analytics you know, help us in some way and how, how we can dive into that. I'll do a whole video on analytics for sure soon because I think it's one of those things people are kind of scared of or they don't know how to read, but they're actually not that hard to understand. Okay, so a couple more things we need to talk about. This next tip kind of piggybacks on the last one, except in a different way. Let me explain. So the last one I told you to pay attention to your analytics because when if you start to see one of your videos doing well, if you will release a similar one, YouTube could possibly pick that one up as well and you now have two videos that are doing better than normal. This tip I wanna tell you about is more about other people's content. Pay attention to trends, y'all. If you see that this creator over here who has a very similar audience to you has one of their videos that just starts blowing up, you start to see it, or if you're paying attention to their channel, you can really see what those are. And a lot of times if you're following them on social or whatever, you'll be able to see what those are because they'll talk about it. But if you see a trending topic or a video from another creator who has a similar audience to you, jump on that train, y'all. This is why you will see a bunch of creators at once talking about the same thing. It's because they saw that it did really well for this person, so they're gonna try it for their channel. Now, it's not a foolproof method, and also, let me say, very important here, do not go and copy people's videos. You might have a completely different take on the topic, but because it's trending, people are wanting to watch more videos about it. So if you see someone saying like, how much money I made on YouTube with 10,000 subscribers, and then you're like, oh my gosh, that video did really well for them, I'm gonna do a video on how much money I make on YouTube with 100,000 subscribers, then you can kind of ride the trend of people wanting to know that information. The same thing goes, I mean, this strategy can be used regardless of what your actual niche is in YouTube, all of these strategies can, but this is why it's so important to pay attention to people in your niche and pay attention to the people and what they're doing so that you can, um, you know, not miss a wave if it comes through. You know, right now, if you are someone who has a platform where you can really talk about some of the massive things going on in the world right now, and you can see what those topics are that other people are doing well, that's a really good wave to ride too. The next tip I wanna give you is one that I've definitely talked about before, but you should and absolutely can use your existing followers to drive up the views on your videos and on your channel as a whole. If you have a large email list, an Instagram following, a Facebook following, a TikTok following, like whatever, use that platform to promote your YouTube videos. Now I know not everybody has that, 
But if you do, it's a really great way to increase views quickly and kind of increase views across your channel every time you publish a video. So this could look like, you know, every time you publish a video, you go on Instagram stories and do a swipe up to it. This can look like every time you publish a video going on Instagram stories and talking about it and putting the link in your bio. This can look like publishing every YouTube video link to Facebook or LinkedIn or doing a short version of it for IGTV and linking off to the other video or sending an email to your email list. But if you have some sort of following outside of YouTube, use that to drive YouTube views into your channel. I promise it works. This last tip is a little bit of a doozy. One of the first people that I started learning YouTube strategy from was Tim Schmoyer from Video Creators. And when I went to his very first Video Labs Live event, he talked about how in the book Primal Branding, how the author of that book really dives into kind of gathering your audience based on a similar belief, a similar opinion, things like that. And so, Here's where I'm gonna tell you that if you want to have a video go viral on YouTube, if you want to gain a ton of views, my little bonus tip here is to be a little bit polarizing. So if you see everybody in your industry taking this side and you are like, I see it differently, I'm going this way, that's gonna be a little polarizing and it's going to cause your views to skyrocket. Now, some of that is gonna come from people hating on you, right? For having a different view than them. But some of that is going to come because people enjoy watching different viewpoints. And also, there, if everybody in your industry is, is heading down one road, right? Every leader in your industry is, is going one way and you have a different path and you're driving the other direction, you know you're not alone. But for whatever reason, the entire industry is going one way and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna stick my flag here and I'm going to go the other direction. And you're gonna create polarizing content, which will then cause the people who also believe the way you do to come over to your side. Now, politics is probably one of the easiest ways for me to give this as an example, but essentially, you know, if everybody in your industry is telling you, you know, okay, we need to vote this way or we need to support this issue and you have a different opinion or you have a different way to look at it, if you will just be okay with being polarizing, if you're okay with that, then you can take over the views because that polarizing content is always what will go viral. If you want a video to go viral, it needs to be polarizing. That is all there is to it. So if you have a different viewpoint you can be polarizing about, or you have a different belief that you can be polarizing about, it is definitely a useful strategy to gain views. Now, I don't mean go around and be an a-hole to everybody because that is definitely not what I mean, but you know, if everybody else is saying the sky is blue or everybody else in your industry is like, I love Disney World and you come out and you're like, the sky is yellow and I hate Mickey Mouse, you are causing people to get mad at you and also flock to you who believe the same way you do. So that's where we're gonna wrap this video up. If you are looking to get more views on YouTube, I hope you'll implement these things into your strategy and I hope that you'll always look at YouTube as something that's ever changing and something you're always growing in. Myself and a lot of my peers in this like YouTube teaching world see these comments all the time of people saying, I'm doing everything and I'm still not growing or I'm doing everything right and I'm still not growing. And while these are the tips I'm giving you today, I want you to always be figuring out what works for you because yes, you can do everything textbook, right? And then some idiot puts up a, a video that goes viral who doesn't use tags or anything and it's like the worst quality in the world and you're like, how did he do it? And so all, everything is meant to be bent and, and twisted and changed based on what we feel is right for our audience and based on 
kind of what we want to put out into the world. So take these tips and use them and use them in your own way. And then you can start making more money. You can start ranking higher. You can start doing all the things better on YouTube with more views to back you. Until next time, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to come hang out with me on the Instagrams. Bye y'all.